this and good morning to you. God is good. See in John chapter 9. We almost read the entire chapter. There's a lot of drama in that chapter. In John chapter 9, and I read from verse 8. The neighbors therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Jesus healed this blind man. And now the controversy begins. Uh, you know, sometimes when God has done something miraculously for you, people doubt. But you, the individual who God worked on your behalf, you would know. Uh, but I noticed something very interesting about this man that was born blind. He never saw Jesus before. He heard them speaking about Jesus. He believed Jesus' words, even though to go and wash. He believed. That is why he ventured out in faith and he was healed. Uh, first point, you do not have to see Jesus to believe in him. That's one. And number two, when God has done something great for you, you must be the first to point out to individual that my God is alive and my God is great. My God is good because it's you. Think about this. Whatever age this man was, uh, remember the man born blind? He never saw the rainbow. He cannot differentiate between green, yellow, red, black, white before. Now, this man is the individual most fitted to tell others that God has done something great for me. You realize that this man's testimony uh, was more powerful than even Jesus' words because the man was blind begging on a daily basis. His personal testimony was more convincing than even Jesus' words and it ratified the fact that Jesus Christ, it made plain the fact, it simplified the fact that Jesus Christ is really the Messiah. He's somebody different. So this man, by saying, I am he, was given his personal testimony. As you go through the day, I want you to say something on behalf of God and his goodness. God gets too much negative publicity say something on behalf of God uh, and it could be something personal that God has done for you listen don't be afraid that you're saying that too often I am almost sure that this man after being healed every time somebody asked him about how you receive your sight most likely he would have shouted out is Jesus is Jesus rub spit and mud and sent me to wash and now I have 2020 vision say something positive on behalf of God today so that somebody can stop their unbelief and believe in Jesus Christ God and Father thank you so much for your word guide us as we go through today and put words on our lips for personal testimony please father grant us courage and bravery so that we can point out the goodness of god once more guide us throughout the day i pray in jesus name amen may god with you bless you the way